Ah, yes, companions. The companions probably are going to get a mechanical redo. I imagine that you probably will draw six cards now if you play a companion or some way to weaken them. Now the fact that they've sold lots and lots of Ikoria and the Ikoria sales have basically receded and the demand has decreased, now people are interested in the new secret lairs, they're interested in Jumpstart, they're interested in the core set, which is the next standard set, which is coming soon. They're interested in Commander, they're interested in Double Masters. It is now a good time to ban the Companions. Now the Companions was created by one man, his name is Mero, and he does not believe you should get good things in your life. So does it surprise me that this is happening? No. I knew exactly that this would happen. They would sell as much Ikoria as possible and then admit that they made a mistake. And that's exactly what happened. So let's talk. Let's have a real discussion about the companions. Do they need a power shift? Yes. But that should have happened as soon as they came out. Had that happened, there would be less Ikoria sold. The Ikoria expected value is among the lowest it's ever for any new set given the same corresponding time period. Ikoria is not a good magic set. Let me repeat that again. It is overpowered and it will get banned. Look at the expected value of Throne of the Eldrin. With Oko and Once Upon a Time, the value was very high. You had a $50, $60 Mythic and you had another $10, $20 rare slot to go with Fable Passage. Really great value. Now the problem is once Oko gets banned, it goes down to $10 and Once Upon a Time is about a $2 card right now. Can you believe that? From $20 to $2. And from $60 to sub $10 right now. But you know what? It's okay. We were already sold everything. And that's exactly what they did with Ikoria. This is not a very trustworthy company. And in my opinion, what they're doing here is borderline criminal. I've made videos before. They are taking your value away. If you did make these companion decks and now they weaken them, why are they weakening them? Is there a new set that's coming out sometime soon? Oh yeah, there is Core 2021. Have you guys seen this story before where they ban, you know, they ban the Oko and the Once Upon a Time, Pharaoh's Beyond Death comes out. Pharaoh's Beyond Death is one of the weakest sets in modern times. Now it looks pretty decent because you took out the number one rare and you took out the number one mythic. Oh, Pharaoh's Beyond Death looks... It, it wasn't even... Even with Throne of the Elder and Cards being banned, it was still not a great set in terms of power level. Okay, cool. But we showed some Pharaohs. That was good. And now let's make some even more powerful cards. And well, let's call them Companions. And we'll sell a bunch of Ikoria... And after we're done selling Ikoria and sales start declining, we'll ban them because Core 2021 20, will be a weak set. Core sets in general are quite weak. And that's what you have here. They're not banning these cards because I believe these cards in standard are perfectly fine. But they're going to make Core 2021 unsellable. Because what possible cards could you add to your deck in the large quantities they want you to add them? If everyone's playing Oko deck, why would anyone need to add anything in Pharaoh's Beyond Death? You have the deck, basically. You ban Oko, now there's a mad rush to make new decks. Because 80%, 90% of the field was running some Oko deck. Same with Companions. The companions are dominant in standard. There's no way anything in core 2021 is as good as a companion. And because the companions are unique of their build, that their quote limitations, there's only so many decks that can be built. And once 
can anything in core 2021 possibly compete with a full-fledged Oko deck? No. Could anything in core 2021 compete with a full companion power level deck as currently stated? No. They're going to continue to do this. They're going to, it's, it's very obvious what's happening. Print powerful card, sell lots and lots of packs, have high expected value. Oh, powerful card gets banned right before the new set releases. New set is very weak. We sell a little bit of the medium amount of new set because we banned the most powerful card of old set. Then we print, you know, we need to sell more cards. So then in Ikoria, we print very powerful cards again. Powerful cards need to be banned. We wait until we we're done selling Ikoria before Core 2021 releases. Then we ban or change substantially the companions so we can sell a bunch of Core 2021, which is a weak set. They think that we're idiots. And maybe we are. Because I guess we keep buying this crap. Like I said before, when you buy an Oko, when you buy a companion, you make that deck. It's not cheap to make these decks, by the way. You're investing your money into the idea that you can use this deck until rotation. The worst thing that can happen to a Magic player is they buy four Okos. They spend all of their money buying those Okos. They make the Oko deck, and now the Okos get banned, and they have to make something totally new. Using more money to buy something less powerful. Hi, guys.